Hi guys, Donnery13 here again. Welcome to a beer review. This one's a good one. And a big, big beer. I know you can't see it yet. Got this one from Guy from uh, one of his visit. He came down to visit us for beer drinking and debauchery and beer reviews. And <clears throat> you can check out his channel at www.youtube.com slash user plus beer guy reviews. That would be Guy from Beer Guy Reviews. Gee, from Beer Guy Reviews. Anyways, my 200th review, so I'm gonna get one, uh, I'm gonna drink one I got from Gee, obviously. I've been plugging the channel enough here. Uh, this is something from Dudicier. Uh, this is a uh, big, big beer. And it also happens to be, for any of you, so a few of you might know my channel, this is also my nickname. I've had it for 25 years or so. Anyways, this is Dudicio's Rigor Mortis Extra Strong Abbey Style Brown Ale. And again, amazing, amazing label from these guys. I'm gonna bring them all in my house and start displaying them. What? <laughs> Anyways, this is a extra strong Abbey style brown ale. 351 milliliters beer on Lee's bottle conditioned. Uh, well, that kind of sucks. Uh, the Rigor Mortis Ebit ist un Ale Brun 24 inspire de Bira Trappist Belge, which is inspired by Trappist, uh, Belgian Trappists. Uh, I don't. Today, Pew of Mea, El Parazonte, and Coal, Intense de Malt, Intense Malt, A de Gouts, de Chocolate, A de Caramel. Chocolate and Caramel Gout. And Fruit Rouge, A Red Fruit and Spices are used. Set Pierre at all, and so I pose a pay, uh, six months. The Via Lisa Malt. The green is water, malted barley, sugar, wheat, hops, and yeast. Ooh, sugar. So, yeah. Anyways, here we are. Huge, huge knife key. 200th view. Kind of stoked. Let's open her up and get into her. Another more thing you got from Guy. One of my new favorite glasses. Let's give it a pour. Oh, yeah. It's dark, dark brown. A little swirly swirl. As you will know, I'm doing this on Friday, the 13th of September. And in a few, in a few short days and weeks, something is coming up here. The Maple Leafs are playing again. Let's go to smell. Ooh, there we are. A little bit on the nose. Yeah, a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, brown sugar. If we're gonna shake that enough, a little bit of brown sugar in there. Yeah, I'm getting the nice, the nice. Uh, I'm starting to think it's a sour kind of the, the yeasty smell I get up from beer on these. Very, very nice looking. You can't see through it. It is real, real cloudy. Dark, dark brown. Off brown head. A finger. Finger there. Anyways. Cheers. To 200. To 200 more. Well, that's interesting. I'm definitely getting, uh, oh, well, right off the bat, you get, uh, you instantly get, like, a, a nice low end, like a burnt, kind of a caramelized sugar. Then it goes right, and it just switches, like, in about two seconds, you get, like, a nice caramel, kind of a, like, a milky chocolate kind of a taste.
Get a little bit of spices in there. I don't know. Not too bad. Maybe some, maybe some, almost some cinnamon in there. I'm not sure. Anyways, yeah. I'm in frame, anyways. I can see it in the window. Yeah. A little bit, like almost like a molasses in there, too. Great, great beer. It's very, very, very thick. Very thick. Kind of a little, little alcohol burn after, you know, with your initial drink. You know, it's about, uh, you know, almost, it's almost at the stomach there again. A little tiny bit of butter. Uh, burning, excuse me. But there's the chocolate. There's the caramel. And for a brown now, for a brown like uh, the style, it's expecting a little bit more of a, a little more coffee note off of it. But great, great beer. And a 10.5 percent alcohol. Holy shit! This will kick you in the face. And I fully expected that to happen here in about another half hour or so. However, I will share it with uh, my lovely, lovely wife. What? Anyways, this is a, uh, yeah. It goes down surprisingly, surprisingly smooth. It's quite nice. I'm getting the back by bugs here. Anyways, really smooth. Fantastic. Definitely going in the collection. Yeah, like a cool, cool cap. Look at that. Forget that enough. Anyways, rating, rating, rating. Uh, I would definitely buy these again. I would I don't have one here and there. Maybe seller a few. Those are definitely obviously seller able. I don't know. Uh, four two five. Yeah, I'll go with that. I'd definitely buy it again. And yeah. Uh, Cheers, Guy, and uh, for this. And I want to thank everybody who watches and takes the time to, you know, leave a comment or subscribe or anything. You know, subscribe and give me a little like there, like on the video. Yeah, I really appreciate everybody. 200 view. Cheers, guys, and we'll see you. See you in a little bit here. Later, guys.